What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today's video is going to be a good one. I am up here in the beautiful northern part of Wisconsin and I'm going to be doing some camping. Um, this time though I brought some different people on the channel that uh, you normally don't see especially when we're filming camping videos. If I turn the camera around first and foremost we got my two golden retriever puppies. We got Honey and Oakley and then as you can tell got the boat there got the truck here and then we got my wife Caitlin who's gonna be camping with me this weekend yep it is absolutely beautiful out right now we just got to the spot just pulled the boat around and now what we have to do is set up camp first thing we got to set up in camp is gonna be the truck tent I got that in this box and obviously I have to set it up in the bed of my truck. If you guys have never seen that, we have filmed a ton of truck camping videos before, but unlike those, I actually did something uh, last night's project. So this right here is two platforms that will go in the back of my truck. Got the bigger one goes back there, smaller one here. And that's basically to just get it above the wheel well because the bed of my truck will fit a queen size mattress now if you guys have watched my previous camping videos you know that i am the absolute worst at bringing cots or uh, air mattress or sleeping bags or any of that stuff that actually makes camping comfortable i'm usually always the one to forget all that stuff and very unprepared uh, luckily my wife is way more prepared than I am. So when I said I wanted to go camping, uh, she had a list made and everything was to a T. So we ended up having an extra mattress that we just have sitting around. So we we're like, yeah, what the heck? Let's bring a queen size mattress. So that'll be comfortable, but I'm gonna stop rambling. We're going to set up the truck tent. Um, I have to show you guys another cool little feature that is gonna be new on the channel that I'm excited to show you guys. But yeah, let's get that truck tent going and start the camping adventure. Alright you guys, so we got the truck tent set all the way up and you can tell it is looking mighty beautiful. We got the awning which is a super nice touch. I don't think we're going to be putting the rain cover on because we're not expecting rain. If I go ahead and go in it, you can see during that time lapse that we were struggling pretty hardcore putting these things in and then especially the mattress barely fits through the door, but you can tell you got a queen size bed that fits perfectly in there and then underneath here we just got you know the bed of the truck so we could put um, our clothes pots and pans some random camping stuff underneath that if we wanted but this is super nice super comfy we already went up there and tested it gate one's pretty pumped because uh she's not a huge camper but this is this is camping and luxury if i go over here the rest of the campsite pretty standard we got our two chairs fireplace firewood picnic table camera gear stove propane all that fun stuff and then if I go over here this is what I wanted to show you guys so this thing is super cool now this is a cooler made by set power now what sets this aside from other coolers is the fact that half of it can be a freezer and half of it can be a cooler you don't have to have any ice in this it's all battery operated so if i go over here you can see the cooling side right now is at 24 degrees and then the fridge side is at 39 degrees you can set your different power for uh, what temperature you'd want uh, the freezer goes all the way down to zero degrees and then the fridge you can set at whatever i have it at 39 right now oh wait nick do you want to see the coolest thing you can do eco mode 
if you're on one of those battery operated things. Or you can click it to max cooling when it's plugged in. Big thank you to Set Power for sending me this unit. I am super pumped to actually get this and receive this because I do a ton of camping and uh, getting ice is kind of a pain in the ass. So this is a perfect setup and it really is meant for like if you have battery powered like this or a camper, you can plug it into a vehicle. Pretty much if you have power, this thing will work. It actually also runs off of solar panels. So a super cool unit. If I go ahead, turn this around here, show you guys the inside, what we're gonna be drinking and eating. Uh, not a whole lot because this is a kind of a last minute camping trip, but tomorrow morning, you already know, hash browns. We got Caitlin's ice cream. Caitlin's ice cream some half-baked, this is the good stuff. We'll see if I can get it a little bit of that later. And then the fridge side, of course, we got the bush apple. Can't go anywhere without those. Didn't know these existed, Sprecher, Dr. Sprecher. Didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, ground beef, only reason this is on the cooler side because uh, we want it to thaw out because we are going to be pudgy pies. pudgy pies. Um, we got eggs for tomorrow morning, some bagels, uh, some other miscellaneous stuff. But as you can see, this is the freezer side and this is the fridge side. You can take this out. This is a portable wall that you can take out. So if you want the whole thing a freezer or a whole thing a cooler, you can do it however you want. Again, big thank you to Set Power for sending me this unit. I'm super pumped and it is definitely going to help us out this weekend. That is pretty much it for the entire campground uh, tour. The only th other thing that you guys didn't see was my trailer in the back corner, but that's not really important. So now I guess we're pretty much set up. The dogs are getting crazy. As you can tell, they're already soaking wet because they enjoy going in the water. And I can't say how beautiful this campground is. Now you can tell I took about 20 steps away from my tent and we have beautiful Northern Wisconsin Lake and an even beautiful one just sitting here waiting to get out of the water to catch some water. I'm not sure exactly what we're all going to film in today's video, but what you can assure is that there's going to be some camping, some cooking, some fishing, and good times. I think now Caitlin was already saying that she wants to get out on the water and the puppies wanted to go swimming again. So I'll pick up the camera when we get out. We have officially made it out on the water and it is hot as hell out here, <laughs> which of course it's midsummer right now. So what did you expect? But you know that cooler I was showing you earlier? Well, we brought her on the boat and just plugged her right in to uh, the outlet right there. And uh, let me open it up and let's see somewhere in here. Oh yes. Right here. Caitlin's favorite thing. I'm gonna open this up, show you guys. Oh yeah, we've got some fresh leeches. Now, now that we are out here, I uh, drove to one of my favorite spots and we're pretty much gonna be tossing some bobbers out with some leeches and we're just gonna be seeing what bites. I don't know, it's midday, midsummer, not really the best time to be out here trying for uh, mainly walleye, but we're gonna try it anyways. We got nothing better to do. We're just chilling on the boat, drinking some beer, and we're gonna toss some bobbers. Seltzers. So, what? Seltzers. Caitlin's actually drinking a seltzer. I will be drinking a beer, but yeah, I'm going to rig up some rods, get the GoPro out, and we're gonna just start doing some fishing and see what bites. All right, you guys. So we are set up, and as you can tell, I have the live scope down. We are in 26 feet of water, and right here, I don't know how well that will pick up, but that is a pod of fish. I have no idea what they are yet, but I'm going to go ahead and toss the leech back. They are 50 feet behind the boat, so we're going to give her a toss and see what bites. There we go. First fish. What do we got? 
It is a small walleye. Look at that. Well, I was trying to, whoa, settle down, buddy. I was trying to figure out the depth that I needed my slip bobber to be. Oh God. First small walleye of the day. I was having a hard time trying to figure out my depth on my slip bobber. But uh, yeah, there's a giant school and I finally got the depth where I needed it to be. And that was the first cast out there and he munched it. So I'm gonna go ahead, this leech looks a little beat up, but we're gonna toss him back out there. See if we can get another. Looks like we got something here. Oh yeah. Number two. This one feels better. A lot better. Let's see what we got here. Could be a nicer walleye. Yeah, not too bad. It's not huge, but I'll net it. There we go. Get him in. Look, honey. Hook already popped out, but that's a nice looking walleye. Probably 19, 20 inches. Definitely better than the first one and pretty fun fight. Get a release on him right away. Using slip bobbers and leeches is pretty much the easiest way you could probably catch walleye this time of the year. I'm doing nothing special uh, for what you guys could do. I'm literally just using, like I said, slip bobber with a single hook and go get some leeches, go find some weeds, get the depth right, toss her out, and should be able to catch some walleye. So get another leech and maybe uh, the next one I'm gonna get Caitlin to catch one. Well, it seems like the puppies have had enough out here. It is extremely hot. Honey's still enjoying herself a little bit, but Oakley, He's cashed out. The fishing hasn't been super hot and heavy. I did catch one off camera and then Caitlin caught one off camera, but nothing too crazy, really enough to pick up the camera and show you guys. So it's about 5.30. I think what our plan of attack is, is we might drive around and just boat for a little bit. Then we're gonna head on in and we are going to make some pudgy pies over a fire. And so boys. we're gonna film that and show you guys once we get in, but that's kind of the plan of attack. I think once we're done doing that, then we're gonna head back out on the water when a little bit of the boat traffic stops because there's quite a bit out here and I think it's really disturbing the fish. Plus it's, you know, like 85 and sunny and the sun's pretty high up in the air. So we're gonna wait for low light conditions then probably come back out here and see if we can catch a few more walleyes. But first, boating, and then second, we're gonna make some food. Successfully made it back to camp. Yum. Grab the beef. Before I get hangry. <laughs> Caitlin is gonna be in charge of cooking and I'm gonna be in charge of getting a fire going. So we shall see how that goes. But uh, now we're gonna run some time lapses of her cooking and me getting the fire going. So <laughs> here we go. All right, got the fire going. Now, obviously, if you guys have ever cooked pudgy pies, you know that you're not gonna be cooking it on an open fire like that. You're gonna have to wait for the fire to pretty much go down and you're gonna have to get some coals. You still want it to be hot, but you want the fire to pretty much be completely collapsed so you have hot coals. And then you build your pudgy pie, which if I come over here, you can see we got our ground beef, our bread, and then for the pudgy pie, never told you guys, but we are going to be using tomato sauce. And then we also have cheese in the cooler somewhere. We got some 
triple cheddar. Wow, look at that. And that is gonna be what we're gonna be doing. So once we get the coals going here, I'm gonna show you guys how we like to make our pudgy pies. Just in case if you're not familiar with this, this is definitely one of my favorite camping meals. So I'm gonna go ahead, let the fire go down a little bit, probably drink a beer and yeah, relax and get cooking. Okay, Galen, show okay. everybody what a pudgy pie is and how to make this thing. Okay, so, well, Oakley's, I guess he's gonna <laughs> help too. But, well, you have to put butter on the outside of the bread, otherwise it'll stick to the pudgy pie maker. So we got spreadable butter. Spread. The butter. The butter. Step and a one. lot of it. Next step is to put the butter face down. Basically, pudgy pies are like a pizza, but Wisconsin style. <laughs> Next. You put some tomato sauce, pizza sauce, just a little. Following Kraft cheese. And then the final step. Last but not least, the sirloin beef. We're just gonna do this because we don't have a spatula. And then these little guys. This is what. This is I what makes the pudgy it, the pie. Yeah, why they call it pudgy <laughs> pie. So you flip it over, you latch it. And it's like you're like making a little pizza. Okay, we take this. Little early still, but. But we're gonna hold it a little. We're hungry. Yeah, we're starving. Basically, if this was coals, you would just but bury really this can. into it. And you just kind of let it sit for a little bit. Yeah. And then you just check it every so often, make sure the bread isn't burning. And then you have a pudgy bag. Well, let's see the finished product. Hot. Okay. Oh. oh yeah. Perfect. So basically by putting it in this thing, this seals like the outside edge. So all the pizza sauce and all the pizza stuff is sealed on the inside. And basically you kind of made a pie, but it's, <gasps> but it's a pizza pie. That's perfect. And that one's definitely perfect. Let's see what the inside looks like. Hot. Oh yeah. Yum. That is what we like to see right there. That's perfection. It's like it's not our first rodeo. Well, we're gonna cook a few more just because each one takes about five to 10 minutes to make here. So we're gonna go ahead, make a few more. We're gonna dig on in, enjoy our nice dinner. The sun is still pretty high in the sky right now, but that's all right. We're just kind of enjoying our time here at camp. We're gonna eat dinner and then we're gonna hit the water and in hopes to catch some more water. Not a walleye. Please 
stay on, please stay on. As you can tell, this is a small little smallmouth, probably about 15 inches or so. I had another one that came off, that was another smallmouth. So I'm not sure exactly uh, what's going on there. Probably should be walleyes in this area, I was thinking, but fish is a fish. I don't know how much longer we're really gonna stay out here. Fishing hasn't uh, been really that great, so probably take a few more casts, maybe catch another smallmouth, maybe catch a magical walleye. But if not, most likely, you guys will see us back at camp. Well, we have finally made it back to camp after a very unsuccessful night of fishing. And wow, we are tired. Caitlin and the dogs, if I turn it around, you can see that they are already tucked in. Honey looking all cute, Oakley in the back. And then obviously Caitlin's there sleeping already, but they're gonna be going to bed. I'm probably gonna stay up for a little bit just because we have all this firewood and it has to be used up tonight. So I went ahead and built a nice fire for the evening. And I'm just gonna chill by it, kind of just relax. It wasn't too bad of a day. Fishing wasn't as great as I wanted it to be, but it wasn't all about the fishing today. It was just about camping and enjoying the weather with the family so hopefully you guys enjoy today next time i pick up the camera it'll be the morning time and uh, i think caitlin's gonna make some breakfast for us so i'll see you guys in the morning Good morning everybody. It is the next day. It is about 6.53. I think we woke up around, I don't know, six o'clock or so. It was quite early. Uh, the dogs, sleeping with the dogs was an adventure to say the least. They were extremely hot even though it was 52 degrees out last night. Um, no room and right away this morning there must be like a bass tournament going on on this lake because there was like 30 bass boats just ripping her giving her hell this morning so really hard to sleep when you're outside and can hear absolutely everything but we're up we're at them right now as you can tell caitlin is on cooking duty already got the scrambled eggs made now I'm making some hash browns you got honey watching and oakley's over there he's still tired because Honey was the one that was keeping everybody up last night. We also got a fire going, keeping us warm. Cause this is a little bit chillier this morning. Like I said, it's in the 50s, but I believe the high temp is supposed to get into the 80s today. But I'm not sure exactly how long we're gonna stick around. Probably just going to enjoy the fire for the meantime, eat our breakfast, and then probably start packing up to be honest with you, cause we got quite a bit of stuff to pack up. But this morning, I was happily excited to see that the set power cooler still is cold. I mean, it's kind of hard for me to tell you like how cold it actually is, but like it's pretty cold. This side, 44 degrees, this side, 39. And this thing, let's see what this is at. Okay, 19%. Super impressed with how long it actually lasted. Um, it kept everything that we brought pretty cold and that's you know the main thing you needed to do is you buy a cooler you want the stuff inside to be cold and it definitely did that and I'm definitely pretty impressed. So again if you guys want to check out Set Power Coolers and if you guys want one for yourself make sure go down to the description go to their website check them out uh, we would greatly appreciate it but like I said we're going to uh, just let Caitlin do some cooking here we're gonna eat and start our day. This is where we're going to end today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little mini camping series between Caitlin and I and our dogs. Uh, wasn't really planning on doing a whole lot of filming, but decided to just come film the camping trip because 
why not you guys seem to enjoy the truck camping video so if this is something you guys would like to see more of this summer please let me know if there is anything else you guys would like to see this summer please let me know down in the comment section if you want to see musky fishing bass fishing walleye fishing camping uh kayaking whatever you want to see believe it or not we do run out of ideas sometimes uh because we film quite often so any suggestions that you guys have would greatly be appreciated but we are going to get on out of here if you guys enjoyed today's video please make sure to give it a like make sure you guys subscribe to the channel to make sure you guys don't miss any upcoming videos that we have coming to the channel if you want to see my puppy honey or my puppy okoy on the channel also make sure to give it a like also if you would like to see my wife caitlin more on the channel let me know as well because she's not featured here a ton but she is willing to do some sort of fishing uh mainly fair weather but she will get out there and do some fishing so if you guys want to see her as well let me know but that is all i have i will catch you guys on the next one tight lines from nb edits mm -hmm.